Okay, so in the YouTube eating space, people have been going buck for these. These Taco Bell chicken wings. I'll put them up here. Picture it? Cool. I've done a lot of video research. I've been hopping around watching other people try them. And it's a mixed bag of reviews. Some people like them. Some people say they're awful. Anyhow, my bitch ass city don't have a Taco Bell. So I'm going to have to try to recreate them on my own. So I've done deep investigatory research by way of watching people eat them, seeing the crisp on them, thinking about, okay, how do I achieve that? Also the color, the dusting, the flavor, all these things. Well, by way of one TB employee channel, so Taco Bell employee channel with 2.91K subscribers, they, uh, they went ahead and put up this box of the chicken wings that they got in at their Taco Bell restaurant. I'll put it up on screen here. And in the chicken wings seasoning, in the ingredients, you'll see we have a bunch of chemical compounds that's cooked up in the laboratory. And uh, I don't necessarily have any of that, but I'm going to do my best to recreate it. So we have whey, uh, autolyzed yeast extract, I don't know what that is, salt, cheese, milk, cultures, enzymes, buttermilk, extractives of paprika, citric acid, sour cream, Romano natural flavors, jalapeno powder, whey protein, concentrate, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, you see what I mean? It's, uh, you see that it's basically Dexter's lab in there. I think what I'm gonna do is I have some ideas. Basically all those powders that they're talking about there, those are all basically refined flavors via into a powder. And I think they make like a seasoning mix. They batter it off maybe with some cornstarch and flour type thing, get it to stick, fry it off. And then they also have like a dusting on the side. So. I'm going to use my creative intuitions here and I've got a few things that I'm going to mi mix together for this uh, dredge and seasoning. So let's get to this. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, let's do some science. <laughs> some powdered test kitchen science. So for the whey, milk, cheesy aspect of these, we're just going to go in with a packet of KD cheese, Kraft Dinner cheese. There you go. Next, for the buttermilk aspect and the sour cream aspect, we're coming in with dry Hidden Valley Ranch Packet. Now, I don't know ratios, so I'm just gonna go like a quarter of this because I don't think it's the dominant flavor. For the citric acid element, lemon pepper. That should probably accent a little citric acidy type deal, don't you? I do. So let's go in with that. Probably not too, too much. Let's try like a teaspoon. Okay, I don't have jalapeno powder, so for spice, we're definitely gonna go in with some cayenne. They said there was paprika in there. They said there was salt, and they said there was sugar. Mix this baby. And make a seasoning that maybe like what's on these wings. And now I'm going to reserve some of this for a post fryer dusting, the dusting. But most of this is getting mixed with predominantly cornstarch, a touch of flour, not a lot, and a very light hit of baking powder. <clears throat> and now we whip that. All right, our seasoned dredge is complete. Okay, fresh washed rinsed wings that need to be pat real, real dry. We gotta get these nice and dry. And then we pat. Gotta get them nice and dry. So dry bowl, wings nice and pretty dry, watered, pat it off. To get the seasoning to adhere and stick, a little bit of oil we're gonna toss in, just to coat a little bit. It seems to me that the batter on these Taco Bell wings is not thick. It's a dusting. It's a very crusty, crispy, light dusting. So that's why we're not using like buttermilk or egg. And we're gonna lightly dust these kind of deal. We're not really gonna go crazy on trying to get a thick coat. We just want the flavoring and then to fry. And we're gonna dredge these babies up a couple at a time here. I'm just gonna lightly dust them up just like that. They are already taking on a very interesting color. Okay, so today we're opting for a pan fry. The deep fryer needs an oil change and I ain't got the time right now. Quan Tran method, chopstick in. If you got bubbles, it's time to take a bath. We do not have bubbles yet. I'll see you when we do. 
We got bubbles, and this oil's making noise, so I think we're ready to roll. Pitter powder, let's get at her. The beautiful sounds of frying oil. Please don't burn me. Please don't take me out. Oh wow, I could smell that cheese powder for sure. That's dope. All right, as I flip, what I'm learning is I think that sugar is burning. So I don't know. Getting quite the quite the caramelized color here. Things don't always go to plan. That's why we're making an attempt. This is just an attempt, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull them over to this rack to let them do their thing, where we anoint them with their dusting of flavor. But I definitely learned here through this that uh, whatever was in my mixture is definitely uh, burning on the outside. So that's not ideal, not ideal at all. And we may very well just chalk this up to a possible fail, but we're not gonna let food go to waste. So we are obviously gonna eat these and see what it's all about. Okay, while well, they're still oily hot. Let's dust these. The oil helps things to stick. In theory, the concept of these were good in my head. In all actuality, I'm terrified. All right, closer inspection. I may mark this down as a DIY disaster. They did not fry how I expected them to fry. They definitely had sugary, burny situations, but I have no idea what they're gonna taste like, so we don't really know until then, but as you can see, I got some sauce homies in the back. Ranch and BBQ. I feel like BBQ may be good on these, but let's dive in. All right, y'all, reporting live from Hoodie's laboratory cave. Let's do it. Moment of truth. Let's find out what this is really about, even though it did not go according to plan. They do not look, well, yeah, no, they don't really look like the, like the ones I'm seeing in videos. Okay, first things first, let's just try it with just the dusted powder and see how weird this is. And then we're gonna definitely have to use sauces, I feel as if. Okay. Those are actually much better than I expected. Like way better. It's definitely cheesy. Definitely a bit spicy. Definitely get the sour creamy. kind of buttermilk richness, like from the, uh, the ranch packet. It's actually quite a lot better than what I expected. Try it with ranch. Okay. Go with ranch. The flavor far exceeds the look. I could say that. Definitely. What I will say is the uh, those wings, like when I've been watching these videos, they look that the crisp on them looks very similar to a Costco style wing. Crisp. And 
I need to solve that puzzle because the Costco Wing Crisp seems amazing. I almost did these in the air fryer to see how that would be, but I don't know. That's why uh, these like test kitchen, like fast food places that have all, <clears throat> all the sciencey shit. Because when you read that label, it's very like, maltodextrin extract and things like that. Somehow their compounds that they're using like don't burn off in the oil and create like that, the, the darkness, you know? So food science is crazy. <laughs> but these are actually not bad. They have a pretty cool, cool flavor to them. Given the strange ingredients used. They kind of work. However, not something I'd be making on the regular. I'm not going to make it in my uh, revisit list, really. And the ranch is better than the barbecue. I will definitely say that. I thought perhaps the sweetness and the tang would cut nice against that like powdery cheese. It works, but some other ranch just works better. The reviews seem to be that people either really hate them or really like them. From what I can see visually, they look good. They look like good wings. But I don't know what the flavor profile is like. Okay, I'm not going to eat these last two because because of like the burning happening, I didn't get to cook them to my liking. I like a longer cook, a crispier cook. I like the chicken to be thoroughly cooked. And these are a little too moist for me right now. I'm not really enjoying the moisture of the chicken right now. It's too juicy. A good idea, a nice little adventure, an experiment. Complete and total fail though, to be honest. They don't taste bad, but they didn't go right in many aspects. So uh, don't try these at home. Don't try this at home. And uh, maybe just go to Taco Bell and get it if you can. Um, but yeah. It's not, it's not the ticket. So it's an experiment. We tried 
and we failed miserably. Okay, so you know what to do. Don't try these at home. Eat good, live well. <laughs> Stay true. Because if you try these at home, you're not going to be eating good. I'll tell you that. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.